Hey, welcome to the Science Masterclass. Today we're gonna to learn about the reproductive system. Okay, my name's Mr. Saligaris and this is part of my year eight science biology course. So the male and female reproductive systems are quite similar and different in a number of ways, okay? The most noticeable differences are the anatomical features or the structures and types of body parts. Um, the anatomy of a male and female reproductive system matches a purpose of that body part. That's called physiology, okay? So how that body part works. Two words you need to be very clear and understanding about is anatomy and physiology. Anatomy is the structure and physiology is the function of that particular body part. So um, how it's made up and then how it works. Let me give you an example. The anatomy of the female hip and pelvis is much larger than that of a male's as women need to give birth. So they need a much larger pelvic cavity um, for a baby to exit the body compared to that of a male's which is much more condensed because they don't need to do that. So that, that's a really good way of tying anatomy and physiology and understanding how that works there together. Um, the reproductive systems uh, of humans are quite similar to that of some animals that reproduce sexually. I'm gonna talk about um, humans and rabbits. So before I do that, I need to explain that the uterus is part of the female reproductive system where um, the egg is fertilized and develops into the offspring. Um, so that's what the uterus is. The human uterus is quite different to that of rabbits as the human uterus is only designed to carry one or two babies, whereas a rabbit can hold about five or six, sometimes more or less. Um, so the human uterus, if, you, if you're thinking about how many babies it has to carry, is quite a lot shorter than that of a rabbit, which has to hold five or six babies at one go. So um, quite interesting in how the anatomy and physiology changes to match the needs of that particular organism. Let's talk about the processes of reproduction of, a sex, of an organism that reproduces sexually. So it's important to understand these steps. When a female gamete or an egg is fertilized by a male gamete, the sperm, what happens is that an embryo is formed. That embryo then develops into the fetus and that fetus is then, uh, well, that creates the offspring, yeah? Um, so that is the main or the very basic steps of how reproduction works. I'm not gonna talk about the complexities of it and all the fine details, but that's just a real general overview of how it works in sexual reproduction, okay? So the processes of reproducing vary quite differently between species, okay? So like the way that some animals mate or organisms mate is different to others, okay? That's to match up to their anatomy and their physical, physiological needs, okay? Um, so let me talk about two examples here. We're gonna talk about the mating of birds, or falcons particularly, and also that of a cat um, that's found only in Madagascar. So this, uh, so falcons and, and birds of prey like that mostly only have one mating partner for their whole life, okay? So they only mate with that one partner, whereas this one animal, uh, well, this cat that lives in Madagascar, what it does is when it's ready to breed, the female will often mate with a number of males so that the chances of its egg being fertilized are increased. Whereas with the falcon, they only mate with one partner. It's quite interesting in how that works. Um, so the processes vary depending on species. Um, so it's quite complex in that. So let's talk about the length of gestational period or the gestation. So that's how long uh, the pregnancy is or the overall pregnancy from fertilization all the way to giving birth, how long that takes. Um, for a human, that takes about 39 or 40 weeks for that to happen from conception all the way through to giving birth. Whereas for an elephant, that can go up to about two years. That's crazy, okay? so. General rule is that the larger the animal, the longer the gestational period or how long it takes for that um, baby to develop within that female. Okay, let's summarize the main points here. We talked about how there are differences between the male and female reproductive system, um, specifically the anatomical and physiological differences. We also looked at um, some similarities between a human reproductive system and that of a animal, and we also talked about the processes of reproduction and gestational periods. 
Hey, thanks for watching this video. Make sure that you like it, comment on it, and most importantly, watch it again if there's a point that you missed. Hey, thanks for watching. Right.